Maddie, 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 Maddie. Welcome back. Our next guest says his heart is strangely warmed. And while that may be true, his new book is too hot to stay on the shelves long. With us is minister, author, and founder of the Methodist movement, the Reverend John Wesley. <laughs> the show to being on the Maddie show on the first stop for your book tour. It is to my uh, great honor and my first appearance uh, by such a contrivance and means. Uh, delighted. So we are going to get right into it. Tell us what your book, The Primitive Physic, is about. Oh, uh, very gracious uh, that you would call it a, a book. Uh, we, we tend to refer to it uh, as a pamphlet. Um, it's quite simply a, a book of easy remedies and curative measures and preventative medicine. Uh, for the sake that ordinary, unlettered uh, men and women uh, can improve upon their health and glorify God by their bodies. Hmm. And you kind of have already mentioned this, but the sheer number of topics and ailments that you cover in the book oh, is yes. astounding. So why did you feel the need to write this book? Um, well, I'm grateful uh, that you should think so. Yeah, we uh, have documented about 300 ailments and maladies. Hmm. Uh, there are 800 uh, treatments uh, in the book. Um, I refer to it as a um, method for curing and treating most diseases because all persons are different. And we offer multiple cures uh, for each malady. The maladies are alphabetized, there being 300 of them for the sake of ease of use of ordinary people. As far as the why, uh, Maddie, um, in England at the present time, the Royal College of Physicians is in its infancy, but uh, uh, the care of physicians, which uh, they visit uh, based on person's ability to pay, come to their homes. Only the very wealthy can have such care. Uh, for that reason, uh, ministers of the Church of England um, are trained in medicine. Um, all village priests have a measure of training, mostly in what we would consider to be preventative mm. uh, medicine with some uh, treatments and curative measures. Um, but in the societies, we discovered that a great many people, especially among the poor, live their lives uh, adrift and away from the Church of England, which means that they don't have uh, this means uh, for care, um, such that we have been using the societies to distribute this book, which now, as you note, um, is growing in popularity. Uh, your uh, associate tells me it is on the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the reviews for your book mm. says simple remedies are in general the most safe for simple disorders and sometimes do wonders under the blessing of God. Mm. In this view, we present to you now The Primitive Physic, published by our much honored friend John Wesley. And yes, this review... It's, 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 uh, I'm very familiar with that one <laughs> by my friends uh, uh, Thomas and Francis. Yes. yes. How does that feel to have them endorse? what you've put together I, here. It's, it's a delight, and not only because I appointed them to the circuits, uh, but um, no, it, it, is, um, it is very reassuring mm -hmm. that in this, for the sake of the, the proclamation of the coming kingdom of God, that God desires all of us uh, to glorify God again by our bodies, um, that we can share the work of greater health uh, for ordinary people in England, uh, in Ireland, and elsewhere, even here in America. Um, it is a great blessing. Hmm. So there's some interesting ideas in the book. Mm. Uh, one of the cures you have for baldness is mm. by electrifying it daily. Yes, yes. What does that look like? Oh, uh, that simply involves uh, the use of an electrification machine. I believe all that your viewers could come to my home uh, in London and see that it is uh, presently there. Mm. Um, uh, this uh, is a device that uh, by means of electrification delivers a gentle shock uh, and has a variety of curative uh, and treatment purposes. Among them, Maddie, funny you should say, indeed, uh, a cure for baldness. <laughs> So what other, you also mentioned some other cures for baldness. Yes. So if I was, were to give you oh. an onion, an onion, the studio yes. audience, the onion. Yes. What could we do with this? Um, so we do favor in primitive physic uh, the use of turnips um, because, Maddie, they, they are readily available uh, throughout London, they grow through much of the year, and they have wonderful restorative properties. But we can also make use of the onion, and the onion is an idyllic remedy for baldness, especially when combined 
uh, with electrification. Mm -hmm. uh, may uh, I have your permission to demonstrate it? I think our studio audience would love that. Beautiful. So I have with me uh, one of our uh, lay preachers, Benjamin. Uh, Benjamin, if you would please uh, come to the fore um, and um, be seated. Benjamin has uh, just come off the circuits in the American colonies. How wonderful. He's been Thank in Georgia, as was I. Um, so uh, I happen to have um, a, a pen knife uh, here. Uh, would recommend an aged onion, uh, Maddie, which I believe this one is. It has a lovely timber mm -hmm. and texture when it is aged, because um, then its, its juicy properties are best suited for the remedy. Um, so, as I make uh, uh, clear in my book, uh, it is a virtue to rub the pot, that is to say, the affected area of scalp, uh, daily with onion, and to electrify uh, uh, on the placement of the onion juice. So, uh, Benjamin, if you could um, uh, remove your lid. Um, so, it is, it is uh, indeed straightforward and works just so. And it produces, as I think uh, you would agree, Benjamin, it has a lovely uh, aromatic uh, quality to it. Again, uh, turnips uh, being quite well suited to the purpose, but onion will do. I think it is my secondary or tertiary uh, measure. Now, I don't have any electricity to bring mm -hmm. uh, to the occasion today, but I think for the purpose of demonstration, yes, this has it. This has it nicely, as you can see. So, John, if you can clarify for us, he does seem to have a full head of hair. So, what will be the effect of the onion? Oh, well, uh, this is for demonstrative uh, purposes only. He does have a lovely head of hair, but Maddie, <laughs> he did not always. <laughs> so. That doesn't speak for itself. I think it does, rather. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Drink at the table! So most Methodists today would say that your mission was to spread scriptural holiness mm -hmm. throughout the land. Mm -hmm. Now, a pamphlet talking about home remedies, how, does that, how is that part of the mission? Oh, I, I have come to this uh, understanding over the course of my ministry. Uh, for example, in um, Sermon 60, with which I'm sure you're familiar, uh, though this is far and away my <laughs> best-selling book, um, but in the sermons, number 60 is uh, the general redemption. Um, and in that, uh, I express the, the widely held belief of Christians uh, across time and uh, culture um, that God has a, has a desire to redeem all of creation. Uh, if this be so, then animals glorify God uh, by their bodies, but they too are fallen, hence uh, predation, uh, animals living by bloody tooth and claw. Uh, so too has sin disordered uh, our own lives um, by means of a return to what I would describe as a primitive medicine, that is to say, the early and the natural uh, means for people to thrive, uh, this gives us all the better means to live in harmony. It is the spreading of scriptural holiness to acknowledge that all creation belongs to God and that we glorify God by caring for our ecology, uh, our zoology, and indeed our biology. That's wonderful. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. All right, folks, to learn more, you need to pick up this book. And so for our audience today, you're not going to have to wait long because everyone in this room is going to walk away with a free copy. But you get a primitive physics. And you get, and most assuredly you, so you get a primitive physics. So we are hoping you make it to number one on Amazon. But for our folks at home, I hope you don't feel left out, but you can pick up your own copy at your local library or anywhere books are sold. So next up, after the break, John is going to share with us a way to cure baldness. Mm. It's very simple. You just need to get a piece of linen, vinegar, yeah. a lighter, and a quill. So oh. grab those things and meet us back here after the break. What is a lighter? Maddie, 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 Maddie. 